Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part 14 of the Farnsworth House case study. And today we're going to clean up our layers and then add in our window, our new windows in the back end of our Farnsworth House for the middle pane. So to clean up our layers, we have some lines that we can't hide because if we hide our floor plans, then it hides everything else. So you want to move these lines to another layer. So under floor plan, I'm going to create a sublayer called floor plans or just floor plan. And you can't name the same name, so I'm going to call it Floor Plan Outlines. And that's what I'm going to move it to. I'm going to change the color to red. So now I can hide those lines. Also, now we're going to do adding in two windows to the existing pane. So to do that, I turn on my window outlines there make sure it's selected. I'm going to go in and delete these existing lines leaving the just the overall shape still there. I'm going to go in and take the rectangle tool and type in two and a half feet for the X direction and then I'm going to snap it to the midpoint and take the points and I'm going to snap it down. So two rectangles And then I'm going to draw another rectangle for the top pane. Take the overall overall rectangle and I'm going to delete it. So now we can just offset like before. One inch. And then we'll offset again. Half inch. And we'll take the outside curves, the two most outside, and we'll extrude it by two inches. And make sure you're on the windows layer. So I'll take I'll take the poly surfaces right now and move it to the windows extruded. And then go in and extrude the second set at three inches then take the innermost curve and extrude it by a quarter of an inch the windows the smaller ones are actually supposed to be an eighth inch pane but I'm just going to keep it consistent with a quarter inch so now I'll go into my perspective view and I'll move everything into place. So I'll take the pane, type in move, vertical yes, find the midpoint, move it to the midpoint, take the outside geometry, and now I'm going to move that up to the midpoint also. Just gonna make sure that it is so. And then select everything. I'm going to group it. Then I'm going to turn off my floor slab. Take the back end group and I'm going to ungroup them. Deselect the middle window. And then as the other two are still selected, I'm going to type in group again. Now I can delete this. So we'll go into our front view and I'll rotate it. Now I'll take this and I'll move it into position. 
So now we edit the back window so it, it matches. I'll turn off my window outlines and then turn on my floor slabs again. And I'll change the window colors to white and the still angles to white. Doesn't matter what color we pick, it's just because when we render it won't pick the colors that we picked for the layer color. So now the last thing I want to do is to decrease my geometry count because it'll save some um, space on the file. So these these geometry I can just union them. So just highlight them and then click on the union button. And you can go in and union various other things like the roof, which is I think is grouped. So I'll ungroup them. And then I'll union them. So now it's one object. And that's it for cleaning up our Farnsworth house. And the next tutorial will create sections and plans. Thank you for watching.